Kinds of Kindness, directed by Yorgos Lanthimos, stars Emma Stone, Jesse Plemons, Willem Dafoe, and many more in this ensemble cast. This is an anthology movie following Tree Tale, following a man without choice who tries to take control of his life, a policeman who is alarmed that his wife, who is missing at sea, has returned and seems a different person, and a woman who is determined to find a specific someone with a special ability who is destined to become a spiritual leader. I find it strange but thrilling seeing another release from Yorgos only a short while after Poor Things, but it was said that this movie was basically being made around the same time as each other. I've been pretty excited to see this since its first announcement and what especially drew me in was how the trailers basically didn't help at all by not revealing anything about the film which is an aspect I absolutely loved in terms of its marketing. It's gonna be a little hard to review this movie since it is an anthology movie. I feel like in a way I'll have to talk about each individual short and hope that does enough to explain things about it. The first story shows us Jesse Plemons character in a situation where his entire life and decisions are dictated and predestined. Anything and everything he does is under someone else's control. He eventually gets tired of this and tries to live out things on its own, which then causes that initial control he had to be taken from him completely. And he's really good in this story, you can see the desperation in his mannerisms and you can tell by him just how much and how badly he wants to be accepted, which is basically the main crutch of this story, how far people go for the acceptance of other people. Willem Dafoe's character plays Plemons' boss in this story and is great as always. He not only in this short but in other ones is put into some pretty funny outfits. There's a moment where he's talking to Plemons' character and he's kind of hidden by the couch and when he reveals himself the bottom half of his outfit is these shorts with the big boots and for me a visual gag as simple as that is enough to get a good laugh out of me. He does a good job of conveying the sense of having this underlying menacing tone which he is usually good at pulling off while also balancing a side to him that's surprisingly understanding and even caring. We see him giving gifts to people at one stage and it's interesting seeing that contrast done here. I love the direction this story takes and how at its core it's basically based on escalation as we see the things Plemons' character go through, all these things in an attempt to take control back. It plays into such great dark humour and I just love how sadistic it gets, especially near the end of the story. It's pretty fun, it's interesting, it's absurd and I thought it was a really great way to begin the movie with. The second story has Jesse Plemons again as the lead, this time playing a cop at the start he betrays the sense of being broken up over his wife being missing at sea so much that you can see see it's put him in such a fragile state which is proven further as the story goes on. When it does go on his state of mind sinks further and further and he's really good at pulling off that aspect of being completely deluded to the point where it's almost a little creepy. It's just helped by the direction where he starts being shot through shadows and wide angles almost like a horror movie character. Emma Stone is pretty great in this short too. She's playing Jesse Fleming's wife. She's great here too seeming to be normal while at the same time mainly due to this story being shot through the perspective of Fums' character, but you get the sense through the majority of it that she's probably hiding something. And this could also just be the case for being lost and basically starving for too long, but it almost feels too off. Despite these elements, she does what she can to still be a good partner to Plemons' character, and she's good at showing this part of her too. We get to see how dedicated to her partner she is, and the extreme lengths she then goes to prove herself. That's the main crutch of this story, showing the lengths people are willing to go through for love, so obviously that takes a very sadistic turn as well, especially more so than the last short. I'd say this is a lot more fucked up than the way it's written. It's done pretty well. The gore effects present in this story are done really well too. I liked how much detail they were put into it. The last story, I'd say, is probably the weakest of the bunch due to the fact that it feels like it doesn't really go anywhere by the end of it. This one follows Emma Stone and Jesse Plemons' characters who are in a cult and they're trying to find someone who can heal people. We're never really given any reason as to why they need this person other than, I guess, healing people is just useful in the long run of things. I thought Emma Stone was really good in this story. She delivers this really offbeat dialogue, which she's usually good at doing anyways, but here especially, she pulls it off despite the writing of it being pretty weak. She somehow manages to make it work. I love her outfit in this story. It's this orange-brown suit with her hair being the exact same color. It's a striking but also very cool image to see. Willem Dafoe did a really great job here too. He's playing one of the cult leaders next to Hong Chao's character being the 
better one. They're always putting him in these youthful clothes, which is always pretty funny to see. He shows off his caring side again in this story, caring for all the members in his cult. You get this feeling as to why people were probably easily persuaded by him. The story really only hinges on its performances. I can't even really make out what the meaning was to it and how it ties into the other two, but maybe that's because I'm just stupid. For the whole movie, everything about it, I thought the cinematography was great. It's a really visually appealing film to look at. There's so many great standout shots that were always really nice to look at as well. The score in this movie was such a highlight too. It's very haunting and in the most nice way possible, very Greek sounding, which obviously for Yorgos makes sense. It's very operatic and gives the scenes these ominous feelings, even more ominous than they already would be. It evokes the feelings he gave off in Killing of a Sacred Deer, whenever certain tracks in this score would play. Each story has their own version of the score and I thought that was a pretty cool detail. Overall, I had a really fun time with this film. I was lucky enough to see it in gorgeous 35mm and it looked beautiful. The quality was just fantastic. While it might not be something I'll get to experience often, I think seeing a movie on film will definitely be my preferred choice and this was a decent movie to start with. There's so much going on in this film but by the end of the last story kicks in, does start to drag. I feel like their stories could have been condensed just a little bit. I'm giving Kinds of Kindness four and a half stars. It is a deliciously sadistic comedy that poses some thought-provoking insight into human nature with some really stellar performances that unfortunately only slightly overstays its welcome just a little. It presents so much audacity from what it's willing to show you on screen and that's always a plus. I definitely recommend seeing this film in the cinema especially if you're a fan of the director's other works.